Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from the build room here at VertBiz. This is where we put stuff together uh, that we might be working on, uh, servers that are going out into the data center, or uh, just stuff that needs service or whatnot. Anyhow, it's kind of a mess. We're doing a little bit of reorganization in here and uh, just trying to keep it neat and clean. Uh, I thought I'd take a break and take a few minutes to kind of update you with some things that are going on on the channel right now. So. Uh, that's what I'm doing. This is stuff that wouldn't make it onto the GT Ogre channel, but a lot of you guys have expressed an interest in seeing what goes on in the time between we make the videos. I have to start by talking a little bit about last week's video, or pair of videos. Um, a lot of you guys saw, last week I posted a video on the GT Ogre channel that showed a guy who got towed and uh, really was pretty upset by it and came back to, I guess, take some retaliation uh, by ripping the no parking signs off the wall, stashing them behind the generator fence, and uh, then taking off. Then on this channel, I showed you uh, the process of where I put the signs back on the walls. Well, some of you are apparently quite the internet detectives, and uh, did a little research and found the guy online. Now, I want to be really clear about something. Uh, I do not condone making somebody's life miserable for whatever reason and certainly not for something that shows up on a YouTube video. The entire internet does not need to be made aware of where this guy lives, uh, who he works for. Um, in other words, don't dox the guy. The guy's boss doesn't need emails and phone calls telling you about what he was doing last weekend. Really, please don't. Okay, did the guy make some stupid decisions? Yes, of course he did. In my opinion, it's enough that the guy maybe is humbled a little bit by seeing his actions online. Maybe then he'll have the chance to take a look, reflect on that, and uh, make some other choices in the future. But a few of you even went so far as to find his social media accounts online and uh, maybe send him messages or whatever. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your time online, but I would ask that you take it a little easy on the guy. The videos that I make are supposed to be part entertainment and part educational. They're not meant as retribution. At any rate, the star of last week's video apparently hasn't been enjoying his stardom uh, here on the channel. Um, and he went ahead and filed a complaint with YouTube. That's his right. It's happened before. And it's about a 50-50 shot uh, what YouTube will do next. Either they will side with him and say that that is a privacy violation and they'll... Uh, have me pull the videos down. Uh, or they'll say, nope, not a privacy violation. He saw all the signs and uh, we're going to leave the video up. I don't know why the different responses, um, but I've seen it, like I say, about 50-50. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me because pretty much every case is the same, but there you have it. At any rate, I'll leave the videos online until one of two things happen. Number one, if the guy makes contact with me and owns his responsibility and asks that the videos be pulled offline, I'll pull the videos offline. No problem. Or, number two, YouTube might decide that it is not within their policy to keep the video online as it is, and uh, they'll have me pull. I guess if you haven't seen the videos by now, go ahead and take a look at them and uh, get them while they're hot. Uh, they might not be there forever. Moving on, we do continue to get visitors in the lot who do appear to be pretty happy to be where they are. This still cracks me up because it's a parking lot. But whatever, I'm glad it makes people happy, like this guy. Stopping by, apparently on his way to work on a Monday morning and doing a little happy dance for us. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm thinking like people couldn't even get any whiter and then, you know, I mean, look at this. <laughs> White people. And then there was this gal, who did something over by the ramp. Now, a little backstory for you. As I've said before, I don't usually work nights, so I don't get to see a lot of what happens in the parking lot live and in person. If the guys working those shifts monitor some activity on the cameras like a tow or something criminal or something interesting, then they'll mark a timestamp and I can come back later and uh, find the logbook and pull those videos. My colleague from last Friday night logged some things like a tow, including when the people showed up to park and what time the tow truck came. And he found some other stuff, like this car accident that happened up the street, for instance. But he missed when the people that got towed returned to the lot, 
So in those cases, I have to go back through the video and kind of go on a minute by minute basis and see if I can find when the people came back so that I can pull that video and then edit it in and you guys can see it. Now sometimes funny things happen in the spaces in between and that's when I find some little hidden gems that uh, might not otherwise make it into a video. Like when this black truck pulled up in the back lot. Now I wasn't at work or monitoring the cameras. Truthfully, I was seeing the world's worst bar band, Murder Some Tunes. Side note, if you're gonna be in a band, and you're gonna be in Texas, and you're gonna play a Stevie Ray Vaughan tune, you better make sure you know the Stevie Ray Vaughan tune. Anyhow, while my ears were bleeding, this gal rolled up. She looks pretty happy to be there. Then she took something, and it looks like she tucks it in behind one of the signs that I just reattached. Now, nobody caught that happening live, so we didn't have any timestamps on it. Remember, the guys that are working do have other tasks, and they're not glued to the monitors all the time. And by this time, I was subjecting myself to three guys taking a hatchet to Everlong by the Foo Fighters. I wanted to take a hatchet to the bass guitar so that guy would never be able to hurt another innocent song again. Once I saw whatever it was that was tucked into the sign, of course I had to know what it was. So immediately, I went to check to see what was there. I went outside, took a look behind the sign, and it was gone. I went back inside to rewatch the video and make sure she really did leave something. Yeah, it looks like a note. I had another look and even pulled one of the screws out to make sure it didn't fall into the gap between the sign and the wall. There was nothing there. I looked around the parking lot in case it blew out. Nothing. So now it's a mystery. I may never know what the note said, but I have to know what happened to the note. And my goodness, this note has a story to tell. A few hours after the note was left, storms blew into the area and it began to rain. Then it began to pour. After a while, things cleared up a bit, and then it really got severe. The rains came down, the wind howled, and still this little note was hanging on for dear life, clinging to the sign with all of its papery might. This thing is stronger than half the bladders we see out here. It was like this throughout most of the day, until things started to clear up. But still, I have to know what happened to the note. It hung in there through all of that. Where did it go? As it turns out, a couple of techs were taking a break and one of them noticed the piece of paper poking out from the back of the sign. He went to grab it and brought it in with him and left it on his desk. And now I have it here. It's like our own little version of a message in a bottle. So there you go. That's our little bit of fun for right now and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down here. Uh, if you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. If you have something to tell me, please leave that in the comment section. We'll have a new video out this Friday on the GT Ogre channel, and we'll have another new video out here on the Ogre Vision channel whenever it is that I make a new video for the Ogre Vision channel. It's still a work in progress. Thanks for hanging in with me on that. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you'll subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.